This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi. And, John, it uh, looks already, last night was a little crispier. It was nice to see. And uh, you said more cold weather is coming forth. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that little bit of drier air that's kind of filtered in has reduced the fog threat just a little bit. But there's, there's still some patchy fog in inland areas. It's, it's not bad, though, at all. Um, but there's a big change coming up in the next 24 hours. You're absolutely right, Donnie. We're looking at... Uh, uh, the potential for some, you know, pretty cool weather. Today, we're going to have some cloud cover around. The cloud cover is going to be kind of persistent, and we'll see, uh, at times, a little bit of drizzle. We have some out in Gulf waters right now, and it's gradually drifting toward the shore. You can see all the cloud cover that we have to get through before we get back to sunshine, and that won't come today. We'll have about a 20% chance of a little bit of patchy drizzle in the second half of the day. And we'll look for temperatures that are going to be a little bit cooler, only getting up to around 73 for a daytime high today. Tomorrow, significantly colder than that. And we'll talk about it in just a few. Back to you, Don. Wow. Thank you, John. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways. Things are looking good right now in all the Suncoast. The Palmetto and Ellington roads are moving along, as are downtown Bradenton. Major roadways in Manatee County as a whole looking good as you move down into Sarasota County. That, too, is moving along without any hitches this morning, so it's good to see. Not a lot of volume, but what's out there is moving. In topping our news this morning, some veterans are concerned about historical lessons in our education system after a general lack of knowledge by youth in the area regarding the attack of Pearl Harbor. Yesterday was the anniversary of the J Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, but this morning is the 75th anniversary of the U.S. declaring war on Japan. While gathering with several veterans of all generations at USF Sarasota Manatee, one former Army soldier worries that schools are skipping over important topics. A friend of mine told me the other day that her 15-year-old son hadn't even been taught in school what Pearl Harbor Day or Pearl Harbor was all about. It kind of struck me... Uh, can't imagine that, that, you know, not knowing what took place on, you know, December 7th, 1941. The Department of Veterans Affairs says we're losing World War II vets at a rate of over 400 per day. While our education system could always use improvements, some graduate students from USF are helping make Palmetto a better place to live. ABC7's Rick Adams has the details. The officials see this partnership with USF as a win-win. The students receive an amazing experience and the city gets lots of valuable input. It's a program that is giving the city of Palmetto a whole new outlook in the present and in the future. The University of South Florida in Tampa had recently chosen Palmetto as their first community partner for its Community Sustainability Partnership Program. Our different department heads submitted different concerns that they had that maybe this program could help shore us up and bring a new perspective to the city of Palmetto. The year-long program has graduate students and professors in architecture, design, law enforcement, transportation, and other areas working hands-on with city officials. The idea is to get fresh ideas is in taking the city of Palmetto to a whole other level. You don't get that many opportunities to have that much brain power chugging together to, to propel a city along, so it's fantastic for the city of Palmetto. One of the big projects USF students are involved with are plans on helping make the Palmetto waterfront even more beautiful, which is an area that is already seeing a lot of success. The waterfront is in the middle of the transformation process with many more palm trees and bushes lining up the walkways. Another exciting project the students will be involved with is the historic building where the VFW is situated. Plans are to renovate the building and even include residential lofts on the second floor. City officials say the future is looking bright and it's even looking brighter with the help of USF. Professors are great. The students are just diligent and they work hard and, uh, and they really give us an eye to the future of what things should look like because they are the future. And at the end of USF's next semester in May, city officials here will decide exactly how they will further implement the students' input. Reporting from Palmetto, I'm Rick Adams, ABC7, your Suncoast News. And some younger students getting in on an exciting opportunity as well as entrepreneurs featured on ABC's Shark Tank are coming to the Sun Coast to speak to them. Ashley Drummonds and her business partner Josh McClellan appeared on the show and have a deal to market their high-protein pancakes. They plan on visiting Booker Middle School tomorrow to talk to 8th grade students. They'll be teaching the kids about nutrition, health, and exercise. 
And happening today, Venice is looking for the public's input for the planning and design of the new public library. Sarasota County will be hosting two meetings to update the public on where the plans currently stand. Architects will also be there to answer questions. The meetings are today at the Venice Community Center at 1030 this morning and also 6 o'clock this evening. In Manatee County, the Florida Department of Transportation is holding a meeting as well. They're holding a public hearing for their plans to improve safety at the intersection of State Road 70 and 41. The meeting is at the State College of Florida's Bradenton campus. An open house will start at 5 o'clock with their presentation beginning shortly after about 6. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office is continuing its effort to help keep the roadways safer and more peaceful as well. Yesterday, they released a public service video about how the community can do their part. ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates has the details. Yes, the Sheriff's Office says they want everyone to know what the best practices are when it comes to traffic stops, but the message is being met with mixed feelings. The video you're watching is a public service announcement from the Sarasota Sheriff's Office. When a deputy is attempting to pull you over, remain calm and find the nearest and safest place to pull over. Park your car so the deputy can make contact with you. The PSA is part of the Sheriff's Office rightful policing strategy, and it includes other tips like remaining calm at all times and following requests from law enforcement. If your documents are out of reach, let the deputy know where they are before you reach for them. We appreciate that most people would like to have their license, registration, and proof of insurance ready when a deputy approaches the vehicle. However, swift movements can raise safety concerns for the deputy. Lou Murray with Manatee County NAACP says his organization has a similar information campaign. Still, he cautions the public of accepting the stereotype that those shot by law enforcement fail to follow orders. It's a good idea to, to get that information out. However, I don't want people to get the impression that uh, the people that were shot by police officers was not complying uh, to the police officers. Mari says there's a long list of unarmed African Americans who've been shot by law enforcement around the country despite following their lawful commands. And he says the problem goes beyond safety tips to include mutual respect. I want my children to come home just like they want their, uh, their loved ones who are officers to come home. Despite the mixed feelings about traffic stop safety campaigns, many say informing the public of the proper traffic stop procedures is a step in the right direction. And as part of their video, Sarasota Sheriff Tom Knight says their goal is to open the lines of communication. The men and women who work for the Sheriff's Office believe in public service, open communication, and having healthy relationships within their community. And our goal is to get you underway as quickly and safely as possible. Remember to stay calm and through good communication, everyone can get home safely. Now, this isn't the first traffic stop safety campaign done by the Sheriff's Office. They recently did a program with students where they gave them a first hand look at the dangers of traffic stops. Back to you. The court has upheld the Sarasota City Commission's decision to deny expanding the women's exchange downtown. According to the Sarasota Herald Tribune, a circuit court judge ruled the commission gave the decision proper due process and it was supported by substantial evidence when it made its decision last spring. The consignment shop is located on Orange Avenue, but nearby residents were concerned about a planned loading zone on Rawls Avenue. A popular restaurant in downtown Sarasota now closing its doors. After a few years on Main Street, the Wing House is shutting down this location. A sign out front says, sorry, we're closed. A Wing House employee told us she was surprised that the downtown location closed so suddenly. There have been several restaurants at this corner in the past 10 years. And the University of South Florida is in the market now for a new head football coach. Manti High School grad Willie Taggart reportedly heading to Oregon. Taggart has accepted the job at the University of Oregon, and he and the Bulls are just off a 10-2 season, the school's best season in history. In fact, the Bulls have also won 17 of their last 21 games under Taggart. Taggart won a state championship in 1992 as the quarterback of Joe Canan's Manatee Hurricanes. Canan is an assistant on USF. His plan's up in the air at this point. The Bulls' search is underway for a head coach, and Taggart will not be with them when they play in the Birmingham Bowl against South Carolina. South Carolina was the school that courted him last year. An Englewood cheer and dance squad has won a national championship. The Englewood Cats Lady Panther cheer team competing at the Pop Warner National Championships in Orlando over the weekend. The team captured top honors in its fourth consecutive trip to the Nationals. The girls range in age from 10 to 14 years old and were coached by Kim Huber-Pulaski. 
our congratulations to the first team ever, cheer team that is, from Inglewood to win a national championship. The Suncoast couple heading to Disney World as well after winning an ABC7 giveaway. Christina Rombaletti and her husband Mark are from New Hampshire, but they recently relocated to Sarasota. And what do they get? A trip to Disney World from ABC7. Yes. They're the winners of the Walt Disney World Resort Vacation Giveaway by ABC7. A couple loves theme parks. They're currently Busch Gardens and Universal Studios season pass holders. Christina says visiting Disney World is a dream come true for the couple. Well, they got their dream from ABC7. Now, the Suncoast continuing to celebrate the holiday season tonight as well. A special event titled Illumination taking place at the Selby Gardens this evening. At the event, there'll be the lighting, the grand bromeliad tree in the garden, and also hosting a silent auction. The evening is hosting, hosted a volunteer group and begins at 6 o'clock. And we're still taking holiday photo submissions on Facebook as well. Virginia sent us this photo of her two granddaughters. They don't look too happy with Santa, though. Virginia says this is the first Christmas, and we're hoping as the season continues that they get a bit more cheery, and as they grow up, especially with all the fun decorations, around the town, like the ones in the front yard in Northport. Donna sent us this picture. She says, the theme her yard after the circus. And you can send us your pictures, help spread some holiday cheer. Just shoot us an email on mysuncoast.com or hit us up on Facebook. Starting to see a lot of lights around. Yes, a lot of lights. And, yeah. I, and I know the Thanksgiving weekend is a big to put trees up or at least get trees, but on Facebook the other night, I just saw a smattering of friends all over the country that had just put up their tree and were taking pictures. And, boring the heck out of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know what? It's kind of neat to see us drive through the neighborhoods and see some of the uh, some of the houses, what they've done. Very creative, some of them, and it's, yeah. it's fun to see. Uh, we have across the region uh, some cloud cover. We have a little bit of patchy drizzle, and we got some cooler air on the way, at least for a couple of days. All right. So Talk about that in a second. Thank you, John. Still ahead, Linda Carson knows exactly where you can head out to have a good time tonight. She has a sneak peek at the touring musical fame. Coming up later in the hour, it's the season of giving, and we'll tell you how one child is going above and beyond to collect Christmas presents, not for himself, but for others. Stay with us. This holiday season, give the greatest gifts of all, safety and peace of mind. Subaru offers more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. Christmas Tradition by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com.
Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperatures that are a slight bit cooler at 61 degrees, but the dew point also has fallen now at 59. That's at the surface. The surface to uh, dew point temperatures are a little bit lower, meaning that the uh, the air is just a little bit drier at the surface. So we don't really have the problem with the fog that we had yesterday, though it we still have some around in patchy locations, mostly in inland areas. But it shouldn't really bother your commute all that much. Now, aloft, the air is moist. And so we have a lot of cloud cover around. That cloud cover is going to be kind of persistent, hanging with us probably for about 36 hours till we finally scour it out with a frontal boundary that'll be whisking through the area tomorrow. 58 degrees Wachula, 59 in Arcadia, 60 degrees in Mayaka, 58 degrees in Parrish, Brainton at 59, 60 Lakewood Ranch, so it is in Northport, 61 degrees in Punta Gorda, and double 62s Venice, Inglewood, and Longbow Key comes in at 63 degrees. Across the peninsula right now, we have clouds streaming in from the southwest and from the west over the Gulf of Mexico. That long fetch enriching some moisture supply there and producing a little bit of patchy drizzle. That's what we're going to get with this weather event that we're experiencing now. A little bit of patchy drizzle and maybe some light rainfall. I don't think we'll get much more than that. We're certainly not going to see downpours. We're certainly not going to see thunderstorms with this front. Once the front actually sinks far enough south, we'll scour out all of the rain showers that we're seeing and we'll have some sunshine. But despite the sunshine, we're also going to have some pretty cool temperatures as well. So you can see the really dry air indicated by the tan colorizations kind of departing the state of Florida, allowing for the a little bit more moist air to arrive. But it's a, a fairly thin high in the air moisture that uh, really doesn't have much in the way of a, a large column of atmosphere that's too terribly juicy. So we only get these little patches of sprinkles. As far as thunderstorm activity, you know, maybe southern tip of the state might see a pop of lightning, but that's pretty much it for the entire deep south and eastern seaboard today. I mean, it is going to be kind of a tame day. It's going to be a cold day, though. There we have high pressure building in from Canada. This is Canadian air producing temperatures in the single digits across much of the northern tier states. And that dry, cold air sinking south will push our cold front through our area by tomorrow, taking the rain showers with it by tomorrow afternoon and allowing that colder air to settle in. Tomorrow's daytime high will probably only be in the low 60s. And then if you factor in the, the brisk wind with gusts as high as 20 sometimes, it's going to feel kind of raw tomorrow to a lot of folks. And people are going to probably be starting the day off tomorrow with some light sweaters and jackets. You'll probably be able to lose those, though, during the weekend as the temperatures will warm up again pretty quickly. Northeast wind at about 15 to 20 through the evening hours, increasing overnight to about sustained at 20. You're going to have some small craft advisories tomorrow, most likely. Forecast calls for 74 is a daytime high today under cloudy skies. Patches of drizzle lingering through tomorrow. The cloud cover will finally give way to sunshine over the weekend as we slowly warm and we'll probably be in the mid to upper 70s for the first half of the start of next work week. Back to you, Don. All right, thanks a lot, John. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadway, you see volume starting to pick up, but uh, not a lot of people on the road right now. Everything's looking pretty good. And Manatee County, also in Sarasota County, too, that is looking good as well. So no issues or delays on the Suncoast at this point to worry about. Now, some top-rate entertainment on the Sun Coast is preparing to wow some audiences this week. ABC 7's Linda Carson has a sneak peek on today's In the Spotlight. The director of the touring Broadway musical Fame lives right here in Sarasota, although he spends much of his time in New York and elsewhere. Dominic Ruggiero says, come see Fame and you are in for a treat. You will see an exciting cast of young actors who are portraying uh, high school students so that they're, they're close to that age and the energy and the truth in their, their personalities plays for the show because they've just graduated from high school, from college, so they're starting their careers, and that's what fame is all about. Great entertainment with a great message. Following your dream, just, just 
being hopeful, working at it, trying hard, and never giving up. Fame at the Van Wezel Wednesday and Thursday nights. Look for me in the Thursday night production, but look closely. My appearance will be brief. And Saturday night, the 31st annual Sarasota Boat Parade of Lights will sail through downtown Sarasota. It's hosted by Marina Jacks, and all the proceeds go to Suncoast Charities for Children. The boats in all their holiday splendor are an awesome sight to behold. They start on the southern end of Longboat Key, all the way down to City Island. They cross the bay towards Centennial Park, and then make their way downtown, looping into Marina Jacks Basin. There, they'll be judged on overall creativity, so they'll be putting on quite a show. Each boat is allowed to have music, an unbelievable light show, and as many guests as they'd like. The Holiday Boat Parade is one of the great things about spending the holidays on the Sun Coast. The best viewing areas are on Bayfront Park and City Island and Centennial Park Boat Ramp. And the Manatee River Holiday Boat Parade is also Saturday night. The boats will assemble near Sneed Island and at 6.30 head along the Bradenton Riverfront to Pier 22, the Twin Dolphin Marina, and the River House Reef and Grill. We may not have a white Christmas here on the Sun Coast, but with two boat parades underway at once, we will light up the night with fun. The Sarasota Boat Parade of Lights, Saturday night at 6 o'clock. Don't miss it so you can brag to all of your friends up north about how lucky we are. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. The movies may be getting to you faster. We'll tell you how Apple is putting pressure on Hollywood Studios to release more content sooner and also coming up later in the hour. Arrests have been made for two teens in Tennessee for the wildfires that killed 13 people. Or will they be charged as adults or as juveniles? Stay with us. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran, who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Alex Karras Lincoln's holiday sales event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. They took that stress and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident, and it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and riding at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. Five twenty-four this morning and getting tickets to events may be getting easier. ABC's Diane Macedo and Kenneth Gibson have the details. Hey there, today's Tech Bikes leveling the ticket buying playing field. Congress has passed a bill banning the use of computerized programs to buy up tickets to concerts, shows, and sporting events. Scalpers use those to often corner the market and then charge sky-high prices. The bill still needs to be signed by the president. Nickelback tickets. Yes. Apple wants to give you an early access to movies. A report says a tech giant is in talks with studios to release films on iTunes before they're in theaters. The report says the movies would stream two weeks before they hit the big screen, but would come with a hefty price. 
tag. Of course. And finally, a one-of-a-kind car sure to make a statement. It's the custom-made lit sedan from Lexus. It is wrapped in nearly 42,000 LEDs. They can be controlled with hand movement or synced up with music from your stereo. It's unclear if the lit will be sold to the public. Do you think our dance moves would be able to oh, create man. a strobe light effect? <laughs> Those are <your> tech bites. <laughs>
torn over Donald Trump. How his latest administration picked tip the scales. Plus, the truth is that no matter what anybody says, we are all in this country together. First Lady Michelle Obama pushing for unity, what she's doing to lead by example. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Don Brennan, along with John Scalzi. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday morning. It is 531, and I think she's right, Michelle Obama. I've been saying that all along. We get this so divisive, Republican, Democratic, Independent. It's our country. We're all in this together. Let's make it the best it can be, right? Well, you know, in the old days, <laughs> way back when, if the uh, president lost the election, he immediately became the vice president. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, so you were kind of forced to, to get along get along together. So, you know, hopefully uh, everybody will, you know, work it all out. That's what we're all hoping. Yeah, for sure. We're looking for some uh, pretty decent weather shaping up for probably the day after tomorrow. <laughs> 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 it's going to be kind of cold for some folks, I think, around here over the course of the next uh, 36 hours or so. Even today, the temperatures are going to be held down in the low 70s. It's going to be kind of a, a, a damp, sort of dreary day today. You know, a lot of cloud cover around occasionally, some patches of drizzle, especially in the second half of the day. The only interesting thing is that uh, we'll have a wind out of the north at the surface, so that'll bring a kind of dry air our way, but aloft we'll see these clouds streaming in from the west that will produce a little patchy drizzle from here and there. I think a lot of times today, the drizzle that falls from the clouds will even re-evaporate before it ever hits the ground. So uh, it'll be almost like a London sky, if you will. We'll look for a 20% chance of uh, showers a little bit later on in the afternoon. Drizzle, mostly. No, sh no thunderstorms, no severe weather with this frontal passage, but Certainly some cooler weather on the way. 73 degrees, our daytime high today, 74. That'll feel summer-like compared to what we see tomorrow morning. We'll talk about it in just a few. Wow. Chilly right now. Taking a look at the traffic situation on the Sun Coast and everything in Manatee County is looking good. All is moving along. Volume is picking up a little bit, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary and no issues or delays to speak of. And then as you head down into Sarasota County, same is holding true for Sarasota County. No accidents to speak of and no issues keeping you from where you want to go this morning. In a story developing overnight in Miami Beach, police report they shut down an entire block of the city after receiving a threat. They closed the block due to the possibility of explosives being found in the area. Authorities say someone called the police claiming that at least one explosive device could be found on the 900th block of Ocean Drive. The caller did not say where specifically that device was or what it consisted of. Miami Beach police say they checked all vehicles in the area for the device. This morning, the block has been reopened after the extensive search. The officials in the area are proceeding with an abundance of caution. And developments are being made in the massive fires in Tennessee that killed 14 people. Prosecutors revealing they have arrested two young people who are being questioned to determine if they did it on purpose. ABC's Elizabeth Herr has this story. Two juveniles arrested for aggravated arson accused of intentionally starting the deadly fires that damaged and destroyed more than 1,700 buildings in Tennessee. I can tell you that this investigation is active and ongoing and we still have a lot of work to do. Authorities believe the two set the fires in the area of the Great Smoky Mountains just before Thanksgiving, and within days, the fires spread to nearby towns, forcing thousands to flee. Dolly Parton's Dollywood Amusement Park spared the country legend, now pledging money for families and hosting a telethon next week. Now, we want to provide a hand up to all those families that have lost everything in the fires. Prosecutors in the meantime say more charges could come and the judge could try the juveniles as adults. Everything is on the table. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. And an update on the investigation into the deadly warehouse fire in Oakland. Officials now clarifying previous statements about a possible source. A special agent from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives spoke at a press conference stressing to the public that the cause of the fire remains unknown. Yesterday, several organizations reported one possible cause as an official conclusion. There's been misinformation circulating that a refrigerator was the cause of the fire. 
This is inaccurate. Please stop saying it. The refrigerator is still being examined, but has not been determined to be the cause of the fire. We're looking at every possible ignition source that's in the building. We have no timeline for conclusion. We're going to do a thorough job. We owe that to the, to the families of the victims, and we owe that to, to the community. Snyder says investigators could be on the scene for several more days, and interviews with people who were in the building that night continue for as long as another few weeks, if needed. And federal authorities are now saying a Tampa woman has been charged with making death threats against the parents of a child who died in the Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings. Justice officials say Lucy Richards made the threats because she thought the shootings were a hoax. The child's parents now live in South Florida. Richards is charged with four counts of transmitting threats, each carrying a maximum term of five years in prison. The country remains divided this morning about President-elect Donald Trump. A new national Bloomberg poll shows Trump's favorability rating sits at about 50 percent as he continues announcing appointments for his cabinet. ABC's Janae Norman is in Washington breaking down the latest pick that's setting off a firestorm. The man dubbed by Time magazine president of the divided states of America continues to split the country. A new Bloomberg poll shows Donald Trump's favorability rating at 50 percent, with 49 percent of Americans polled believing the country is heading in the wrong direction. I believe we're in the process of putting together one of the all-time great cabinets that has ever been assembled in our nation's history. The president-elect believes he and his cabinet will change that, though so far many of his choices for key roles have come with their fair share of controversy. The latest, Trump's choice of Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt to lead the Environmental Protection Agency. Attorney General Pruitt has great qualifications and a good record as the AG of Oklahoma. Pruitt's bio on the AG website shows he established the state's first federalism unit to combat unwarranted regulation and overreach by the federal government and is a leading advocate against the EPA's activist agenda. The pick has drawn sharp criticism from environmental advocates and Democrats who say Pruitt denies the signs of climate change and has routinely chosen the big oil and coal industry over the well-being of his constituents. They are promising a tough nomination fight. Senator Brian Schatz of Hawaii tweeting, nominating a climate denier to run the Environmental Protection Agency is offensive. I will do everything I can to stop this. The announcement of Pruitt for EPA comes as Trump met with actor and environmental activist Leonardo DiCaprio to talk about climate change and how focusing on renewable clean energy could create millions of jobs. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. And many Americans reminding the president-elect to keep his promises about good jobs. Bernie Sanders headlined the Good Jobs Nation rally in Washington yesterday. The Vermont Center vowed to continue fighting for a $15 minimum wage and other programs to help Americans during Trump's presidency. The United States of America, this is the wealthiest country in the history of the world. It is not a radical idea to say that if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty. The crowd gathered just three blocks from the White House and near Trump's new Washington hotel. This morning, we have a live look at Washington, D.C., so much taking place there right now in politics as Trump preparing to take office in January, but not all that's happening in the area is stressful. Currently, the First Lady has been spending her last days doing some good for kids in need. This week, Michelle Obama took some time to visit a Marine Corps reserve to help with the Toys for Tots campaign. First Lady visited the base with toys and gift deliveries donated by staff of the executive office of the president. Mrs. Obama has delivered toys every year since she first made the trip to the base in 2011. And this year, she gave a speech aimed at inspiring unity to our youth. And if someone, anyone in this country, our neighbor, our classmates, our friends, people we don't even know, if they hit on hard times, kids, it's up to us to be there for them, right? To help them, to reach out. Because the truth is, is that no matter what anybody says, we are all in this country together. And I don't want you to let anybody else make you think anything different. You all all belong here. 
This year, the First Lady was also joined by Disney stars Sophia Carson, Cameron Boyce, Madison Hugh, and Olivia Rodrigo. First Lady, not the only one who's going the extra mile to reach out to those in need this holiday season, as eight-year-old Daniel Anderson says he knows firsthand what it's like to be stuck in the hospital, and now he's bringing toys to kids in similar situations. He collected more than 700 toys at his mom's beauty salon for the cause, and his mother says it was all his idea. He said, Mom, I know what I want for Christmas. I want to help kids that are sick in the hospital. They're just so sick in the hospital, and I just wanted to help them. Daniel undertook many surgeries on his ears, eyes, and hands earlier in his life, all at the same hospital, so he donates the toys in that hospital. And here on the Sun Coast, local is also striving to impact kids who are not feeling well this Christmas. The 31st annual flight to the North Pole is taking place today at the Sarasota Bradenton Airport Fire Department. Now, the event is run by law enforcement, local business owners, and several volunteers. They all come together to put on this special night for terminally ill children in the area. And these kids will have a chance to rid themselves of some worry and enjoy some time with Santa Claus and receive bags of full presents, eat some tasty food with their families, and even sing along to some Christmas carols sung especially to them by a private school chorus. That is awesome. That is great. If you can make just one child smile, it's all been worthwhile, right, John? You got it right, man. There you go. got it right. Takes a village. Some cloud cover across the region today. Maybe a little bit of patchy drizzle. Otherwise, some chilly temperatures on the way. We'll talk about that after the break. So it's going to be chilly in this village, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Still ahead, does finding a good bargain feel better than getting the gift itself? Well, doctors say we should keep in mind over the holidays about how our brain reacts to saving. Stay tuned. You can help make the wishes of Suncoast children and seniors come true this holiday season. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Haley Wilkes. Join ABC7 and share your good fortune by becoming a Salvation Army Angel. Just stop by ABC7 or Sunset Kia in Sarasota, Bradenton, or Venice to pick up an Angel Tree gift tag. It will tell you what a local child or senior citizen is wishing for this holiday season. Thanks for your generosity and happy holidays from ABC7. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Alex Karras Lincoln's holiday sales event is here. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $269 per month or a 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury. Winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award. Serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US 41. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Rich finishes, beautiful colors, and over a thousand different fabrics and leathers to choose from with Bassett Custom Furniture at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. Get a quality built Bassett Queen Sleeper with your choice of Inner Spring Gel or Air Dream Mattress starting at only $9.99. Come in today and we'll guarantee your Bassett Custom Furniture will be shipped before the holidays. With our complimentary design service, start designing, start loving. Only at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding in Port Charlotte. Nobody beats Bacon's. Don't miss the 19th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival, January 5th through the 8th to benefit Suncoast Charities for Children. This year's festival welcomes special guest Blue Oyster Cult to the premier sports campus at Lakewood Ranch on January 8th at 4 p.m. Admission is free. Festival events include a sporting clay tournament, kickoff party, welcome Thunder event, cruise for cash, charity motorcycle ride, and a two-day rockin' and riding at the ranch festival featuring vendors, live music, a taste of Thunder area, and more. VIP tickets are available. For tickets and info, visit thunderbythebay.org. 
They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature outside that's slightly cooler than it was 24 hours ago, coming in at 61 degrees with a dew point of 59. That's significantly lower than two days ago. That's for sure when we had dew points in the 70s. So we're in a comfortable dew point range now, I think, in the 50s. Most people would agree that feels kind of nice. However, aloft, we don't have dry air. We have very moist air, and consequently, we have a lot of cloud cover around. The winds are coming at us in two different directions. At the surface, the winds are basically a kind of a northerly direction. That's drawing down the drier air. Aloft, the winds are coming in out of the, the west or even southwest, and that's drawing in some humid air. So we have two very distinct layers, actually more than two, but two significantly different layers in our atmosphere right now. The cloud layer aloft and the air at the surface, which is drier. That's kind of limiting the amount of fog that we get around the region this morning, that drier air in place. 58 degrees, Wachula 59, Arcadia 59, Mayaka Parish coming in at 58, Bradenton at 59, Lakewood Ranch at 60, so is Northport. Punta Gorda comes in at 61. We have 62 in Venice and Inglewood and 63 degrees at Longboat Key. Across the uh, peninsula right now, things are really pretty dry right now, but we have some patchy areas of drizzle and light rain out in Gulf waters. Now, we will see that move over our area today from time to time, especially during the second half of the day. I think we'll probably have the best chance of seeing a little bit of patchy drizzle around here. We have a frontal boundary sinking southward right now. It's also a low pressure area back to the west that's triggering off some showers in Texas. Now that low pressure area is not going to be coming too terribly close to the state of Florida. It's going to sink south, but it will help to draw this cold front southward across the peninsula. The drier air that we had in place indicated by this tan colorization is departing. In its place, a little bit more humid air coming in from the southwest. That's the cloud cover that we see. But despite that, despite the fact that we do have a frontal boundary approaching this time, we have a much more stable atmosphere. And so consequently, there's only a chance of a thunderstorm in the very southern tip of the state. Otherwise, with this frontal passage that we have, we won't see any severe weather or even strong storms. We won't see much more than a little bit of patchy drizzle as that front sinks south. What we will see is a real uptick in our wind speeds and some chilly air sinking southward. Tomorrow, with air temperatures in the 60s, the winds added on top of that will make it feel a little bit cooler than that. Particularly in the morning when our temperatures are going to be in the 50s, it'll feel like low 50s. And I'm sure a lot of folks are going to start the day tomorrow with a light jacket or sweater. Northeast wind at about 15, increasing to 15 to 20, sustained to 20 overnight, will probably lead to some small craft advisories tomorrow. Look for a 20% chance of patchy drizzle today through tonight into tomorrow morning. And then some clearing, but cooler temperatures. Daytime highs only around 63 or so on Friday and near the 70 mark on Saturday. We'll warm starting next week. Back to you. All right, thanks a lot, John. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways. Everything's moving along nicely. Volume picking up, but no issues or delays in Manatee County. You see Palmetto, Ellington looking good. The bridges into downtown Bradenton all moving along. Sarasota County, same thing there. No issues or delays, just with normal volume for this time in the morning, which is 550. It is holiday shopping season, obviously, and the only thing better than buying holiday gifts is finding a holiday bargain. Everybody knows that. Doctors say when we save, it's more of a brain victory than a physical victory. The feel-good high that you get from scoring a good deal is even sweeter than you think. Intermittent reinforcement drives us to keep trying until we get what we want. Anticipation of a reward releases chemicals to the brain called dopamine. 
Dopamine transmits signals between the brain's nerve cells, and when we find a bargain, the reward process ends, and then we feel compelled to begin the process all over again. We say things that are worth our while, you know, we have to work for, and I think that's exactly where the payoffs come from, and they do really pay off. Of course, it's important to establish some rules for yourself so that the bargain hunting is for necessary things, not anything that you just find on sale. <laughs> Everybody does that. You buy something because it's on sale. Tis the season to pile on holiday projects and parties as well. It can be overwhelming, but there are ways to make the holidays feel less stressful and be more enjoyable. Specialists say rushing around with long to-do lists defeats the purpose of the holiday. It's important to take time out for yourself. It's the thought that counts, right? Turning down that extra party or spending a day at the home relaxing can be essential in keeping the holiday spirit. It is absolutely okay to not get everything done, to not see everybody. Experts say keeping up the energy and knowing when to say no will help you stay more focused and less stressed and be able to enjoy the holidays rather than feel rushed and tired. And that's not the holiday spirit. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, how far would you go to be first in line at your favorite restaurant? That's part of the stress we're talking about. Some Wisconsin folks are going overtime, going to extremes. We'll explain coming up. The Jingle 5K is almost here. Get ready to spread your holiday cheer as you join our team of elves and jingle all the way through our 5K race course at Lakewood Ranch Main Street. Bring out the whole family for our holiday festivities and access to our huge post-race party. The Jingle 5K starts at 7 p.m. Thursday, December 22nd at Lakewood Ranch Main Street. Come on out to spread your holiday cheer one of the most festive 5Ks of the year. The Jingle 5K! The agents at SWC would like to show you pictures of all the homes that they've sold quickly for their clients. But they're just too many to show. Contact SWC today and find out for yourself. We just market your home better. Stop by ABC7 or Sunset Kia in Sarasota, Bradenton, or Venice to pick up an Angel Tree gift tag. It will tell you what a local child or senior citizen is wishing for this holiday season. From ABC7, thanks for your generosity and happy, happy holidays. holidays. Flooring Depot has been serving Sarasota and Manatee counties for over 20 years with the best products and installation. Flooring Depot offers carpet, tile, hardwood, and more. Before you buy, give us a try. Stop by our showroom or visit us on the web at bestvaluecarpet.com. Are you considering joint replacement or revision surgery? Consider this. Dr. Edward Stolarski has performed thousands of successful joint replacement procedures and trained surgeons from all over the world. Using advanced technologies, Dr. Stolarski is able to perform perform some of the most complex surgeries. I wish I knew about Dr. Solosky much sooner. After the surgery, I don't have any pain. It's like I've got a 16-year-old hip. My name's Ed Stolarski. What I really do is I give people back their life. Schedule a consultation today. Black Friday's biggest deals are still here. That's right. The Black Friday sales event is going strong at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Ram trucks are built tough enough to help you conquer whatever the day may throw your way with all the technology and comfort you'd find in a luxury vehicle. Right now, get over 20% off. That's up to $15,000 off a new Ram 1500. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT WinGuard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT WinGuard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. Everyone has a favorite restaurant, right? Where they love to eat, feel comfortable, everybody knows their name. But for some Wisconsin folks, it's gone to the extreme. They couldn't wait for a new Chick-fil-A restaurant to open, so 
they decided to camp out days before. These fans aren't just there for the chicken sandwich and waffle fries. The first 100 people through the doors went. It opens today. We'll win a year of free food at the restaurant. To show appreciation for their loyalty, the restaurant provided entertainment and food for waiting patrons. Yes, but never on Sunday. And John, the Chick-fil-A had a, a, it was in the parade, and I guess they were handing out free chicken sandwiches. And one guy dropped his kid, broke through the barriers, ran over to get a chicken sandwich. Oh, my goodness. All for free. I think they were standing in line not so much because they love Chick-fil-A, but because they got a year's worth of oh, free food. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I think that might be it. Yes. Either that or they were trying to stay warm in Wisconsin, so being close together keeps the body heating up. Could be. All right, it's 5.56. We'll be right back with more news.